Hey, there's one I did a few weeks ago. That's how we met this customer. He said, hey, I want one of those. So we got him one. <laughs> Little did I know the house was added onto. It has another cross space and another cross space. Bet you don't see too many radon systems that look like that. Ning, 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 Hey folks, what are we doing today? We're making radon videos about radon jobs and we're stuffing in mud. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators. Those looking to get in the business. If you're a homeowner, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's National Radon Safety Board. If you're looking for a radon mitigator, go there, plug in your zip code. That'll pull up a list of certified folks in your area. So what are we doing today? We had a really big day today and the sun has come out. But it was not like this in the beginning. It is really windy. My feet are soaked to the bone and oh my gosh. Okay, so what we're doing here, we've got a, we've seen that before. That is our fan, that is our exhaust. And that right there, well, that's a crawl space. But there's a lot more than meets the eye. We're asking a lot of that little fan right there. We're asking it to pull from four zones. You want to be in a radon video, Richard? Do I want to what? You want to be in a radon video? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, am I in it already? <laughs> You're on the Radon Man channel. Okay, so this was uh, a different uh, uh, project for you, eh? Four zones. Four zones, that's, uh, that's you, a you are, number. You're in a league of your own with this job. Okay, well, I look forward to great results. No <laughs> pressure. <laughs> okay, so... I'd say uh, that even if I weren't on <laughs> so, screen, yeah. So we're going to uh, show the folks uh, what we did. Uh, we started at the fan. And we've seen in there. Okay. Point of that valve, and we've got a couple more valves, is to pinch off airflow to divert it to his lowest living level, which is over there. So we're going to take you up into the crawl space there. And so, as you can see, uh, so from that point is the fan, and we're coming into the, uh, the, the first crawl space. And we're drawing air from here. We've got another valve we're pinching off the blood. All right, so now we're gonna go to the other crawl space. Same thing. But what it's all about is to divert airflow to this guy right here. Because this is what's tapped into the lowest living level. So, you know, he's got uh, you know, his shop stuff right here, but his office and, and uh, where he hangs out over there. And that's what we're really trying to accomplish. Uh, so yeah, it's a big day and uh, we're, gonna, we're packing things up and we're gonna see uh, how we come out. Oh, by the way, I have never experienced anybody removing radon with an air exchange system. And uh, you wanna tell us a little bit about that? Because what we're doing is we're coming in after the fact, possibly a substitute for it. Um, but it's been doing well for, and I can't speak to them because I've never installed them. It's more of an HVAC thing. So I'm, my hands are kind of tied with those, but mm -hmm. tell us about that if you want. Sure. So about 20 years ago, I put in an energy recovery ventilator. And all that does is it uh, circulates air. It brings air from the outside through that vent up there. Okay. Goes through the energy recovery ventilator. Uh, and then brings fresh air into the house. At the same time, there's a, another fan that blows air from inside the house, outside. So you get fresh air constantly coming in and stale air, including air impregnated with radon, leaving the house. And there's a, a, an exchange medium in the energy recovery ventilator so that in the winter, for example, the hot air transfers the heat to the medium and then as the cold air comes in it gets warmed up so uh, in theory and supposedly in practice about 90 percent of the energy is conserved that way so it's in a way like opening a window but you're not just opening your window and letting cold air into the house 
it's cold air that gets heated up by the warm air that's exiting. And in the process of doing that, of course, it picks up the, the radon uh, and continuously pulls it out of the house. <laughs> we'll tell her about that later. <laughs> so, uh, uh, for again, for 20 years, I have been keeping the radon level relatively low, well before below the uh, the four picocuries per liter, just by exchanging air, essentially by getting air, fresh air into the house and stale air out of the house. Marjean's going to get in on the channel here. <laughs> he does videos. <laughs> and I, okay. I can hear how this going. Sounds like a big major it is. It is. Yeah. Can you show us the system? I can do so. Yeah. And so, when you when you put it in, was was removing radon your primary motivator, or was it just kind of? That hey, it's a cool a, side effect. It was a, a basically a happy side effect. Um, we were getting a little concerned because the basement was getting a little it's smelly. Now, when I was doing my master's, I did a study with because I studied health education. Something I just looked into radon, and I heard about it, and I read this little, little blurb, and I'm going, hmm, do we have radon at our house? Well, cool. Uh, Pretty cool. I don't, I've never seen one of these before, so here you guys go. So this is actually an oldish one. This one is about 20 years old, uh, but it works on the same principle as a newer one. The newer one needed repair. I had the old one. Uh, still and I nursed it back into shape. So you can see the pipes that I put in uh, bring fresh air in, exhaust air out, and uh, the newer model doesn't require balancing. It does it automatically, but I have these uh, pressure gauges up there uh, and basically um, and I, I played around over the year over the years with different types of piping into the house and I, again there's some experiment actually going on right now but there it is it is bringing air in and exhausting air out so you see so there's the intake that's correct and and where's this this is the uh the stale air going out and it comes out here? Yeah, to the right yeah. side there. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, and then... It has to stay insulated because when there's cold air, the pipe is is going to get cold, right? So then you'll have condensation. Yeah. Right. Although if you used flexible pipe, then you don't have as much problem, but then the flexible pipe doesn't allow the air to flow as smoothly. Well, that's cool. So, you guys be able to look out for Richard's channel. He's coming out with one here soon. Uh, right. I, guess I have sold these now. Cool. <laughs> All right. Hey, so thanks so much for watching, guys. If you did find it helpful, why don't you smash that like button? Doesn't cost you a thing. It means the world to me. Consider subscribing. All right. You guys have it going. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, my name is Scott. I make videos for uh, radon stuff. So, uh, whew, let's start that again. And I'm exhausted and I feel and squishy that's a lot going on today it's a lot of stuff the whole purpose of this channel is to show you unusual stuff that you don't typically see and uh, <laughs> um, not all houses are the same not all radon systems are the same but um, if, you, if you put your mind to it and you, and you, you know draw out your design and then implement um, you know we're just we're just pulling with pipes from different zones and maintaining slope. It's all about that slope um, because the system produces condensation and we want to give it uh, an opportunity to drain out the water. So uh, I'm just exhausted. I picked up something. If you did, why don't you smash that like button? Consider subscribing. I try to put out content that's helpful for the radon community and stuff that you don't usually see. Okay, we're gonna, we're trying to pack up and head out. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.